Sometimes isolation is necessary for transformation. And you're probably like, Shiloh, what do you mean by that? When we start asking God for things and praying to God more and asking and manifesting things through prayer, God takes us sometimes through a process of isolation. This process of isolation is your time. This is your time to pray to God and, and ask God for things and ask him to show you things and, you know, things like that. God is isolating you so he can get your full undivided attention. And you're probably like, why do I have to go through isolation to get the blessings that I'm praying for? Because a lot of times the people, places, and things that we are used to being around and encountering and and doing no longer serve our spirit purpose for the new season God is about to put us in. So yes, relationships may go down a drain. Things that you used to enjoy, you're not going to enjoy anymore. It's going to physically, mentally, and emotionally feel like you're alone. It's going to feel like you have no one. But this is your time to take your time and read the word of God. Study the word of God. And ask God to clear your vision from the feeling of loneliness and ask him, God, I know that you are doing something great within me. And I know once I come out of this isolation, it is going to be so amazing. Woo. And sometimes, a lot of times, the people, places, and things that we are used to is only desire and satisfaction for our flesh. But God said, I need to remove you from what you're used to so I can take you into this new season so I can prepare you for what I am about to do for you. A lot of us want the blessing, but we don't want the process that comes with it. Woo! Mm. Jeremiah 29 11 say, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you Woo! a word so whenever you feel lonely whenever you feel depressed and anxious because you feel like you're just alone in a wilderness Just know God is there for you and he's waiting on you and he wants you to give you his to give him his full undivided attention. And like I said, those people, places and things that we are used to is no longer going to serve us a purpose for the new season that is waiting upon us. 